holiday weekend forecast. I'm hoping it's a good one. It is going to be a good one. And now we know how you're going to rob a store. Yes, you yes. do. <laughs> my secret, my secret is out. <laughs> That's Erica secret. Yeah, it is going to be nice and quiet, a whole lot different than the way the holiday travel weekend started. We're just looking at some cold temperatures running about 10 to almost 20 degrees below average in the northeast, but in the northwest, not too bad. We're running about 5 to 15 degrees above average. Sacramento, about 68 degrees. That's 9 degrees above average. And as we go into the upcoming week, we are going to see all that warm air out west start to move east. Watch what happens. By the time we get into Friday, we are going to see a nice, mild forecast for the east coast. But look at how cold it gets uh, across the plains and into the northwest. That will eventually move into the northeast by the time we go into next weekend. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. Shifting gears now to look at your health. When you go to the doctor, chances are it's the two of you in the examining room. Maybe you have a family member or a nurse there at some point. But what if it was not just you, the patient, but a whole group of patients in there? As our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, explains, it could be the office visit of the future. It's the way to get there. People may remember last year we had a karaoke cab on the plaza with disco lights. We'll drive it right to Buffalo. Dylan, thanks. Just ahead, Mario Armstrong with some great ideas. Mm -hmm. We had some intel from Regina Lewis earlier in the show about yeah. cyber money and whether or not we're getting deals. Are you feeling better? Because this morning you were a little stressed out <laughs> no, about I, your I, Christmas I, list. I, it somehow <laughs> just, it just, the people I'm giving to, and I got stressed. It was like, not that I wouldn't be able to do it, but it's just a lot to it do. It is in a lot, especially if you're ordering online too. Yes. You got to give yourself right. time for it to arrive. It. You don't want to yeah. pay those crazy last-minute shipping fees, which my husband and I always end up doing. And I have <laughs> vowed this year we will not wait that long so yeah. that we waste all that money. No, it's but you're crazy. getting close now, so you're running out of time. Yeah. Again. No pressure <laughs> at all. And, and the later I get that, the more I spend on a person. Like, okay, I'll just spend a lot of money. Right. Then, yeah. you know, that, that's, just yeah. wait till the very end. It's yeah. Totally yes. fine. Done. We'll be back after this. There are some serious drug allegations against TV chef Nigella Lawson, and they became even more personal on Friday. Lawson's ex-husband took the stand in the trial involving her two former personal assistants, Michelle Cassidy. This is my friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Barringer, but you might want to hang out with Molly for a minute. All right, Barringer, you come in after. Take your time, buddy. He is a total mama's boy. He is a little bit of a mama's boy, I just boy, saw him call okay. his agent a minute ago, so <laughs> This was not in his contract. No. So we're out here with Bosco and Barringer eventually. Talking about the cold. Yeah, I mean, we as humans, we put on the scarves and the mittens and the gloves and all that stuff. Do we do it for our dogs? Should we do it for our dogs? Well, you see how she's 